what beacon interval should I use? If you're tweaking your wireless network settings and wondering about the optimal beacon interval, you're in the right place. Let's break down what this setting does and how to choose the right value for your needs. First, what is a beacon interval? It's the time gap between each beacon transmission sent by your router or access point. This beacon includes essential information like the SSID, timestamp, and various network parameters that help your devices connect to the network. The default beacon interval for most routers is set at 100 milliseconds, but this might not always be the best setting for your specific situation. Here's why. High beacon interval. A higher beacon interval means beacons are sent less frequently. This can be beneficial because it reduces the bandwidth used for beacon transmissions, allowing more bandwidth for actual data transmission. As a result, you might see better throughput and speed. Additionally, your mobile devices can save energy by sleeping between beacon broadcasts, which extends battery life. Low beacon interval. On the other hand, a lower beacon interval means beacons are sent more frequently. This can be helpful in environments with weak signals or poor reception, as devices have a better chance of catching the beacons. It's also useful in setups with multiple access points, but as it helps devices make better decisions about which AP to connect to. Choosing the right interval value. So what interval should you use? It depends on your network setup and needs. For basic home networks with a single router or access point, using the highest allowed value is often a good idea. This typically means setting the beacon interval to its maximum allowed value, which can vary by router brand, but is often around 1,000 milliseconds. If you have multiple access points and are experiencing issues with roaming, you might need to lower the beacon interval, starting with a value like 50 milliseconds and then tweaking it while monitoring your network's performance can help. Special cases. For time-sensitive applications like VoIP or mobile phones that need to pick up calls quickly, a lower beacon interval might be necessary. However, be cautious because very low intervals can quickly drain battery life and may not be necessary for most use cases. General guidelines. For most deployments, a beacon interval between 250 to 400 milliseconds is recommended. This balance helps maintain signal stability without overly draining battery life. If you need high signal stability and accurate indoor positioning, a lower interval like 100 milliseconds might be considered, but it's generally not necessary and can be wasteful. Practical considerations. Remember, changing the beacon interval doesn't magically improve Wi-Fi reception if you're too far from the access point. However, if you're experiencing spotty connectivity near the access point, lowering the interval slightly can help. In summary, the best beacon interval for you depends on your network's specific needs. For general use, stick with higher intervals to save bandwidth and battery life. For more complex setups or time-sensitive applications, adjust the interval accordingly while monitoring your network's performance.